Hey guys, it's Bang for About PC Gamer here. If you own Rise of the Tomb Raider, you'll be happy to know that the DirectX 12 patch was released earlier on today. Now, um, I'm going to quickly open Rise of the Tomb Raider and just quickly read out an important message that it does give you um, before you enable this setting. So you'll see now that the DirectX 12 um, option is now available. When you check this box, it comes up with this uh, message prompt. I'm going to read this out to you now. It says, you have selected to enable DirectX 12 usage. Using the DirectX 12 API can offer significantly better performance on some systems. However, it will not be beneficial on all. If you encounter problems with DirectX 12, we recommend turning it off again. So basically, it will help some systems, but you probably won't see an improvement on all. So. Hopefully that won't be the case with me, but then again I will get decent performance regardless. So I'm going to quickly go through my system setup for those who don't know. I'm using two GTX 980 Ti's and SLI, but for this test I found that um, SLI support isn't enabled in DirectX 12, so I've opted to disable um, SLI for this test. Um, with a small overclock of 1200MHz on the core and 300MHz on the memory. So. I'm using an Intel i7-5930K that's overclocked to 4.5 GHz and I'm also using 32 GB of Corsair Vengeance LPX which is overclocked to 2666 MHz on the, on the memory. So that's pretty much it for my system. I want to quickly jump into the game and show you the system settings. So here are the in-game settings I used. I used a resolution of 1920 by 1080 DirectX 12 is enabled of course and for the anti-aliasing method I chose SMAA. For the in-game graphics settings everything's set to very high. For ambient occlusion I use HBAO+. Specular, um, specular reflection quality is also at very high. This is one of the newest settings that have been implemented in the game. And for pure hair that's also at very high. The only option I left off was motion blur and film grain, film grain effect because um, I don't think that makes any difference um, to how the game looks and, and it doesn't add anything to um, performance here either so I'll leave those settings off so what they have included is a benchmarking mode so that's what I'm going to be using for the comparison